All right, we're going to stand and face Jerusalem. If you got any cell phones, put them on you to vibrate. See where Brother Braswell at. We're going to get started. Uh, Shalom, Israel. Happy, happy Sabbath. Yes, sir. Uh, today's uh, opening scripture comes from the Ten Commandments. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which hath brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the and fourth generation of them that hate me, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord not what, will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that's within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's house, thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> First and foremost, we always like to give praise and honor to the God of Israel, of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And this is a day that the Lord has put aside for us to rest and get into the word of God. I'm going to get right to the title of the lesson, which is the Sabbath day, which is Saturday, not Sunday. This is the day that God put aside for us to rest. Get into the book. The title of the message is The Man of Sin is Coming Soon. The Man of Sin is Coming Soon. As a servant of God and an Israelite who's supposed to be leaders in the, around the world, not just in our town, all over, when we see current events happen in the, in the news, we have to report it. And the reason and the way we report it is we find out from the news what, what is going on in the news. And then we see something that pops up in our head. Like I seen something that pops up in my head in my eyes. Um, seen somebody seen something pop up in my head where in Jerusalem they said they about to uh, build a third temple. Automatically, I'm like, build the third temple. I know they got this thing called the Temple Institute where they're trying to get the actual, they're getting all the artifacts, all the showbread, the table, and all that stuff. they getting all that stuff, like the menorah and all that stuff ready, but they are actually now trying to acquire the land. They're trying to build. And that's a red flag for us. Uh, your attention, your antenna should come up. Like, man, they ain't never said this about acquiring some land. And what Donald Trump did about four years ago when Israel, he made Israel the capital city. And when he did that, we got to understand that the Gentiles are the ones that are going to actually give the power to the, um, the uh, appreciate that. The Gentiles are actually going to give the power to the, uh, um, the, the, um, Esau, Esau, to uh, build the temple. 
But when they build the temple, they thinking they building for them, but actually they building it for the man to say to come over and take it over. And we're going to touch on all this today. And I just want to make people aware that the time is close. It's really close. And it, it ain't like I'm saying it's going to happen next year or the year after that. It's close. It's going to happen in our generation. So we got to make sure that we can explain this stuff so we can be ready. And most of all, be ready in our minds. A lot of times people think they're ready until this stuff actually hits. Like, it's time to go. It's time to go. Like, oh, what, what am I supposed to do? But when you read the scripture, you go over this all the time, it ain't going to be no shocker to you. We're going to turn to Revelation chapter 3. And we're going to start with verse 1. One thing Jesus said, he said, I'm going to come as a thief in the night. And people think that he going to just come like we that we're not aware of he's we're not aware that he's coming. He makes us aware. He always tells his servants about his coming. We don't know the actual day he's coming, but we know the actual events that's supposed to unfold and lead into his coming. And this man of sin, he's a very important factor that we need to make sure we own our P's and Q's in dealing with him because we have to be in the place of safety. But we're going to get into the lesson to make sure that we understand about the man of sin is coming. Like they said in the wire, Omar's coming. <laughs> Omar's coming. If you're old school, you probably yeah. don't know it. You got to be caught in my generation where the show called The Wire. When Omar came, everybody started disappearing. And believe me, that's how we should be ready to disappear and flee. But we're going to get into it. Revelation chapter 3. We're going to start with verse one so we can understand not to get caught as a thief. Revelation three and one. Go ahead. And unto the angel of the church in Sardis write, these things said he that hath the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know thy works that thou hast, hast a name that thou livest and art dead. Understand he delivered this, this to Israel. The seven stars and the seven uh, spirits are the angels of God. The angels always, God is the protocol from the Father, the Son, to the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit gives it to the prophets or Israel to get a nation. And he makes it, he trying to make sure we understand this. Verse 2, go ahead. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. For I have not found thy works perfect before God. He said, be watchful. They're giving us to understand that like, you got to be watchful. Watch the events that are happening. Don't just go in this world to be so concerned about the cares of the world, and you you let the world you let the cares of the world choke the word of God from you, and you're not watching the signs. And I'm not watching the signs. It'll come up on you as a thief in the night, and that's when the Lord gonna make His coming. Go ahead. Remember therefore how thou hast received and heard, and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch. I will come on thee as a thief and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Understand that we heard that all our life, Jesus is going to come as a thief in the night. Not, not to us. He's not going to come as a thief in the night to us. He said, remember. He said, remember and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, if you're not watching, he's going to come on you as a thief in the night. He's not going to come on us as a thief in the night because we understand how the prophecies unfold. And that's why I'm dealing with the man of sin today. He's a very important piece in this coming in, 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 in before Jesus come. We got to know about him. Go ahead, bro. Four. Thou hast a few names even in Sardis which have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. This Sardis church, it dealing with, our, with us in this generation. We're talking about him coming as a thief. He wanted the ones that in this generation about when he's coming. He said to be watchful. And this is what we get. Go ahead. He that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white raiment. And I will not blot out his name out of the book of life. But I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. This is what we want. When we watch him to overcome, that's what we get. We get wrote in a book. And like you want to be wrote in a book of a job. You got this job. You're able to make money. So you wrote in that book. Or you got this uh, loan. 
They logged you in the computer. You wrote it in the book. We gave him the loan of $100,000 to get this, get this house. Believe me, you happy at that time. But people don't associate this happiness right here like they associate the happiness of the world. You know what I'm saying? This right here, it ain't going to cost you uh, uh, your soul. It's going to give you your soul. Understand that. Keep reading. Six. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the church, what the spirit saith unto the churches. He understand. He said, he that hath an ear, let the, let the, let him hear what the spirit says to the church. So let's see what the spirit said to the churches about the man of sin. Let's go to Second Corinthians chapter eleven. Second Corinthians chapter eleven. We'll start at verse one. He coming. He going to come in our generation. And make sure you understand what God said. He said, remember Lot's wife now. <laughs> remember. He, Jesus said that for a reason. Because if your mind so stuck on these things, or so stuck on the Asher Press, I don't care, things, people, whatever, when it's time for you to leave, you will stay right here and get caught up in this great tribulation. And it's going to be hell to pay, man. I ain't talking about the fire. I'm just talking about the conditions are going to be bad. That's what people understand, the conditions. But let's see what the Spirit says to the churches by Brother Paul here. Verse 1, go ahead. Would to God ye could bear with me a little in my folly, and indeed bear with me. Go ahead. For I am jealous over you with godly jealous, jealousy. For I have espoused exp you to one husband, that I may present you as a, a chastened vir virgin to Christ. He said, I spotted you to one husband, which is Jesus, to present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. He wants us to make sure we repent and get all these sins off of us when it's time for his coming. To make sure we right. Because if we not right, Christ ain't coming back for no hope. He not. When he said a chaste virgin, meaning that he will make sure ain't nothing defiled touch you. Make sure you got it all cleaned up before he got back here. But this man is saying going to bring some stuff to us that we ain't even prepared for as a nation. Go ahead. Let's see what else. Go ahead. Three. But I fear, at least by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your mind should be corrupted, corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. So you got to guard your mind. We got password on our bank accounts. Online banking. We got password on our security system at our house. We got passwords on everything that's valuable to us, but we don't have passwords on our mind, meaning that I can't look at that. I can't hear that. These are the gateways to your mind, your eyes and your ears. He said, protect. He said, look, he said, you're going to be beguiled me trick, like Satan trick Eve. He said, this simple what he's telling us to do, keep these laws. Because there's going to be a man of sin coming and he's going to have Jesus' name. They're going to be calling him Jesus. Go ahead. For, for if he that cometh preaches another Jesus whom we have not preached. Stop. Another Jesus? I only know one according to this book. But yes, it's going to be another Jesus come. He's going to come exactly like Jesus almost. That's a kind of fit. He's going to come on the first trump. With that white horse. Jesus is coming on the seventh trump with that white horse. If you got some understanding about the seals, how they're being broken, or the trumpets. When he come on the first trump, that's the man of sin. He's coming. He's going to set up shop. Start over at four. Go ahead. For if for if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if ye receive another spirit, which ye have not re received, or an, another gospel, which ye have not accepted, ye might well bear with him. See, we understand that this another Jesus is going to come on the first trump. If he come and say he Christ on the first trump, we can X him out. We bear with him like, okay, you came on the first trump. I'm looking for the seventh trump you come on. We bear with him. And that spirit that he's with, he's with Satan. And we're going to find out the man of sin is being dealt, is being uh, uh, manipulated by Satan to carry out these acts. Jump down to verse 15. 14, 13, excuse me. Go ahead. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. See, we got to understand what he says here. If false apostles, transform themselves to apostle of Christ. You got to check these people out. Don't just check them out like, oh, he said Jesus or she said Jesus. They believe in God. No, they don't. If they ain't keeping the Sabbath day, 
If they ain't keeping the dietary law, three strikes, you out. That's it. I know that's your family. I know that's your mama, your daddy, your kids, and all that stuff, your wife, your husband, all this stuff, everybody. If they was believing Jesus, they will be here on the Sabbath. They will be keeping these high days. They will be keeping all these laws. Now, I'm not exiting them out from not getting in. All I'm saying is they should do it now because we don't know the time of our death. I can die tonight. I can die as soon as I leave out of here. So you got to make sure that you're ready at all times to die. But a lot of people ain't ready because they don't even know the commandments of God. So don't let these people transform themselves as a possible Christ. What are you saying? Go ahead. 14. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. This minister of righteousness, it's got to be a religious leader that's going to come and call himself Christ. That is the man of sin. He's going to come and call himself Christ. He's going to look like Christ to the naked eye. But if you got these spiritual eyes on that he, had, that he says in this book, you can recognize him like that is not Christ. And we got to investigate him because that is the man of sin. He's going to come as a good counterfeit, like a good counterfeit $100 bill. He's going to look exactly like it is until you hold it up to the light. No, nah, brother, I don't mm -hmm. see that. I don't see that face over there in the corner. I don't see that hundred dollar bill line. I'm gonna hold this book to him and say, "Okay, mm -hmm. look how you came. Look at what you're saying. You forgiving sins and all this stuff." No, nah, you don't line up with the Christ, the Jesus in this book. You line up with the other Jesus. Let me show you this other Jesus. And how he gonna come? Matthew chapter twenty four. We just investigating the man of sin. And Jesus gave us everything we need so we won't be uh, um, just, just, just unstable in our minds. If you're unstable, you're not reading. If you're unstable, you're not paying attention. But we got to make sure we know how this man is saying he's coming. He's coming fast. Matthew chapter 24, we're going to start with verse 15. Let's see how he's coming. Go ahead. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken by Daniel with the prophet, stand in the holy place. Whoso readeth, let him understand. This is what God telling us. Like, most people don't know who the abomination of desolation is. He said, whoso readeth, let him understand what Daniel said. So if you're a New Testament church, you won't know what's going on with this. Daniel in the Old Testament, he wrote the road about him and he explained about it. We're going to touch on that. But he said, this cat is dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Let me show you how dangerous he is. Because the man of sin is coming. Verse 16. Go ahead. Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. He said, if you're in Jerusalem at the time, when you see him step on the scene, you better run to the mountains. Get out of Jerusalem. Everything is centered in Jerusalem. Jerusalem is the headquarters of what God is talking about in this Bible. And we scattered all over the world. We got to get outside of Jerusalem too. What else? 17. Nope. Let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. He said, man, you ain't got your wallet in your pocket. Keep running. Find your transportation. If you ain't got your car key, walk. Try to find somebody to hit your ride who understand the truth. This is how important it is for us to get going. Don't wait around because you might get caught. Go ahead. 18. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. If you're working in the field, don't go back and get your clothes. Go ahead. And woe unto them that are with child and to them that give suck in those days. So you got the women who have children. You got parents who have children. Woe unto them with child because it's going to be hard dealing with children at this time. Go ahead. 20. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on Sabbath day. For this is what he said. He said, pray ye that your flight be not in the winter. Neither on the Sabbath day. The Sabbath is still in effect. Still going on. This is when the man of sin going to step on the scene. He's still talking about the Sabbath. He's still telling us to make sure that we understand this man is dangerous. Very dangerous. Keep going. For then shall be great tribulations, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. You think the Holocaust was something? 
nothing. Holocaust didn't last for three years. You think slavery was something? Mm -hmm. It can't even compare to slavery last for 400 years. It's nothing compared to what's going to happen in this day when this man come. Because he going to know our every move. And he going to be chasing after us. The ones that try to get in the wilderness and the ones that don't get in, he going back to get you. And I'm going to show you that. Keep on. 22. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days should be shortened. Because at that time, in this generation, everybody got a nuclear weapon. Everybody. It don't take one person to shoot it, to kill, and make a chain reaction. Everybody starts shooting. There's no flesh will survive at the time. So God said, listen, I'm going to short it down to three and a half years. It maybe was four or five. He said, no, I can't let them go four or five. I got to short it down to three and a half. That's the duration of time right there. Go ahead. 23. Uh, then if any man, if any man shall say unto you, lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. Now he's telling you about this other Jesus. This other Jesus is a man of sin. He's going to be saying that he is Christ. He's going to come just like him. If he, this is what he wanted to us. Go ahead. 24. For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. So he said, if it were possible. It ain't possible to fool me and you. Because I know y'all been taught just like I've been taught. It ain't possible that for that man to sin to say, I'm Jesus. Now y'all start the man of sacrifices, which they going to start back up. He's going to come and do exactly like Christ did. He got to mimic him to the T. He's going to fool a lot of them because a lot of them, them Jewish people, they know there's a Messiah coming, but they don't believe in that black Messiah. They're looking for the white man to come and they're going to put him in power. They're going to put him in power. We finish with that? 24? Yes, sir. All right. He said, who said, verse 15, he said, who said, read, let us read about, you got to go back to read Daniel. Let's go back to Daniel and read about the man of sin because he's going to stand up. Daniel chapter 11. Daniel 11, verse 21. Because he's going to be false Christ coming. But this cat right here, he the top of the echelon. The man of sin. It's gonna come out. It's gonna come out of the Roman Catholic Church. That's where he's gonna come from, Rome. Because if you understand the prophecies of Daniel about the Nebuchadnezzar, King Darius, King Cyrus, Alexander the Great, and the four generals, that's the last kingdom of which is Rome, which is the Ptolemy Empire that he's gonna come out of. Out of Alexander Four Generals, we at the end. And he's going to control the United Nations or the UN. That's what he's going to do. But he's telling that this vile person shall stand up in his estate. Verse 21, let me show you what I'm talking about. Keep going. And his estate shall stand up a vile person to whom they shall not give the honor of the kingdom. But he shall come in the peaceable, peaceably and obtain the kingdom by flatteries. See, he's this vile person. They're going to stand up in his estate. He got to be revealed. He's going to be revealed to the ones that actually understand these scriptures. We're going to say, that's the man of sin. Right there. Because he's going to parade around and establish peace all over the world. Then he say, peaceable. He said, peaceable and obtain the kingdom with flattery. Flattery. He going to give them what they want. You ain't got to keep them laws. You ain't got to worry about them Sabbath days. Just praise me when you, whenever you want to. Oh, shoot. He cool. This man cool right here. But he said he going to destroy. This man is saying is very foul. Very foul. Keep going. 22. And with the arms of a flood shall they be overflown from before him and shall be broken. Yea. Also, the prince of the covenant. He said, with the arms of a flood. I mean, this is an army of a flood. He's going to have controlling. He's going to control the armies. Very big army. Bruh. You could distract me right now. But this is what he's saying right here about the armies he's going to control. Verse 23, go ahead. 
And after the league made with him, he shall work deceitfully, for he shall come up and shall become strong with a small people. Who's the small people? Esau and the Gentiles. They're gonna Esau is gonna Esau is gonna have everything ready to build. The Gentiles are gonna give him the power to build. Understand that. He telling us he's gonna make a league with them. He's gonna work deceitfully because he knows what he really wants to do. He's gonna get it all set up. He's gonna come in there and take it over. Just like that. And they're gonna give it to him. The man of sin. Keep going. 24. He shall enter peacefully even upon the fattest places of the province. And he shall do that which is which his fathers have not done. Nor his fathers, fathers, he shall scatter among them the prey and spoil and riches. Yea, and he shall forecast his devices against the strongholds, even for a time. He said he's going to enter in peacefully. Peacefully. He's going to control. He said he shall scatter among them the prey, the spoils. If you don't do what he tell you to do, he's going to kill you. He's very dangerous. This man of sin is very dangerous. He's not going to sit up here and listen to you saying, oh, I know my rights. How that working out for us? Right. <laughs> you tell me. How they working out? It ain't working out good for us. We get arrested, shot in the back, killed, all this. You think at this time you're going to care about Israel? He know who Israel is. He knows it. He's going to come in peacefully, and they're going to give him power. Keep going. 25. And he shall stir up his power and his courage against the king of the south with a great army. Yes, sir. And the king of the south shall be stirred up to battle with a very great and mighty army, but he shall not stand. For they shall forecast devices against him. Go ahead. Yea, they that feed of, of the portion of his meat shall destroy him, and his army shall overflow, and many shall fall down slain. Yes, sir, because he's going to control a mighty army. He's going to control substance, food, water, everything. Going to control it all. And they're going to fall, and he's going to fall too a little bit. He's going to go back to uh, Rome, but keep going. And both these kings' hearts shall be to do mischief. And they shall speak lies at one table, but it shall not prosper. For yet the end shall be at the time appointed. Because nobody going to honor their word. They're not going to mm -hmm. honor the word. Understand, they're going to have all these different type of peace, tre peace treaty. It's going to be world peace for a little while. And they're going to find out, he said, for yet the end shall not be at the appointed time. Because it's the appointed time for him to go to Rome and run it. They're trying to speed the process up so he had to slow him down a little bit, which is the man that's saying. Keep going. 28. Then shall he return into his land with great riches, and his heart shall be against the holy covenant, and he shall be exploited. Shall do, he, and he shall do exploits and return to his own land. And he said, then shall he return into his land with great riches because he's going to troll a lot of the riches. Where is this man that's saying land at now? It's in Rome. That's where he's going to stand up. That's where he's going to get honored to being the most holy person in the world. And they're going to start gravitating to him. He said, and his heart shall be against the holy covenant. What is the holy covenant? The commandments. It's against it. He's going to start to change laws. And he shall do exploit and return into his own country. Where is his own country? Rome. He's going to return there. He got to gather up a little more power. Keep going. 29. At the time appointed, he shall return and come toward the south. But it shall not be as the former or as the latter. Because it's an appointed time at the end. Go ahead. For the ships of Shittim shall come against him. Therefore, he shall be grieved and return and have indignations against the, whole, the holy covenant. So shall he do, and he shall even return and have intelligence with them that forsake the holy covenant. He said he shall return and have indignation against the holy covenant. He gonna be against the holy covenant. He don't like them law. So he sh he said shall do, and he shall even return and have intelligence with them that forsake the holy covenant. What do that mean? He's gonna return. And have intelligence with him. Let's find out what do that mean. Let's go to Revelation chapter 13. We're coming back here. When would this happen? 
And what is this intelligence that you're going to have? This thing bigger than most people think it is, boy. This ain't no run-of-the-mill stuff in there. You better get familiar with this stuff because it's going to happen in our generation. LC, I think you're going to see it, brother. <laughs> Revelation chapter 13. Let's see about this intelligence, how he's going to return back. Let's put a time frame on this. Revelation 13, verse 11. See, you're talking about this man of sin. He's going to say a beast, which is going to be a king. Verse 11. Go ahead. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. This is a counterfeit. You have two horns like a lamb, and he spake like a dragon. Dragon. To the naked eye, he will confuse the ones that have a zeal of God but not according to knowledge. He's going to look the part. He's a great counterfeit. Go ahead. And he exercised all the power of the first beast before him. Now he said first beast, talking about the first king or the first kingdom. Go ahead. And caused the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose daily wound was healed. Yes, sir. And he doeth great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. Because the first beats that first king to run the whole world was Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar was the first king to run the whole world. And he's gonna start, he's gonna exercise more power than Nebuchadnezzar because he's gonna control fire to make it come down to the earth. And then people, you know, like I know, Israel always amazed about tricks. Mm -hmm. You get them doing some tricks, you got their attention. Exactly. They'll believe you. Mm -hmm. This is what <laughs> this man is saying gonna do. He's gonna deceive a lot of them by his tricks. Mm -hmm. Keep going. 14. And deceive them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. See? He deceived them by the miracles. Because they looking. They looking and seeing. And one thing about Israel, they always looking for a sign. <laughs> I need a sign. What's your sign? Let me see if we match. See if you cancer, Virgo. <laughs> All that witchcraft and exactly. zodiac stuff. That stuff is evil. He's gonna give them a sign right here, and they're gonna he's gonna deceive a lot of them because they're not reading this book about him. This is about the man of sin we're dealing with today. Go ahead. And deceive them that dwell on the earth by the by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the womb by the a sword and did live. He said, Make an image of the beast that was injured. You're going to make an image. It's going to be robots. You mean, didn't he say he's going to kill you with intelligence? This AI, artificial intelligence. We're living in the era now. Now you go yeah. over there in China, you'll see that America is stone ages behind China. These cats right here got so many different gadgets. Man, it just blew my mind just seeing this on YouTube. But they're going to make an image to the beast or they're going to make a robot to the beast. They're going to have his face on it. They're going to be roaming around the earth with his face on it. If you don't do what he say, he's going to kill you. That's how he's going to do it. Keep going. 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and, and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Why he say he give the image that he should speak? John didn't know about no robot. He giving power to the beat, to the robot to speak. Tell them what they can and cannot do. Let me see your mark. If you ain't got a mark, you're not bowing down, I'm going to kill you. He gave power to the beast. He put this technology on deck right now. We here. Go ahead. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. So that covered everybody. You don't care what you got. You rich, poor, small, uh, small, great, all of it. You got to have a mark in your forehead to get what he has, which is all these natural resources and money and food he's going to have at his time. Go ahead. 17. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So I can't pay for my house? No black folk. I can't go get my medicine? They go crazy because they can't get no medicine. They so scared to die. I can't get my medicine. I ain't got nothing against people who take right. medicine. But they put medicine over God. Medicine over God. 
They don't have enough faith in God to make sure that he control it. They don't understand he control life. He control death. And this is what this beast is going to do. This man of sin, he's going to have this power over riches, over natural resources, over food. So if you think you're going to stay here and pay for your house, no, you can't do it unless you have your ma. You can't even pay for your taxes if you own the house. You can't even pay for your car tag. On your car, you can't drive. You can't pay for nothing unless you have it in your right hand or your forehead. So stop rationalizing your mind how you're going to do it. You're going to be over here running naked. That's what you're going to be doing. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 600 and three scores and six. That's 666. We all know that. Let's go to Revelation chapter 12. I just want to make sure you understand the power, power of this man. Stop thinking about your little money, your bank account. Stop thinking about your little car, your little house, your clothes, or your little precious title in this world. It ain't going to mean jack if you don't have that mark on your head and your right hand. This man is saying ain't going to play with you. Revelation chapter 12. We're going to start with verse 7. Let's see when Satan and the man of sin are going to make these people do this. It's all here. Just got to put it in order. The Bible ain't written in chronological order. Here a little, there a little, line upon line, precept upon precept. You got to, got to, you got to put it together, right? And divide it. Let's see when all this going to start with Satan and the man of sin. Because they working it. Revelation 12, verse 7. Go ahead. And there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought his angels. Yes, sir. So this giving you a time span when this happened. This is when Satan got kicked out of heaven with all this different type of trying to deceive the other angels. He deceived a lot of them. This is shows you how powerful this cat is. You can deceive a third of the angel from God? They believe him instead of God? We ain't got no chance without God. We got to have this. Amen. We can't stand up with this man with our feeble minds. Go ahead. And prevailed and prevailed not. Neither was their place found anymore in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil. Yes, sir. And Satan was deceived the whole world. And he was cast out into the earth. And his angels were cast out with him. How much of the world did he deceive? The oh. whole world. Look around you. Folks said, man, he ain't deceived me. Well, you got to be in the world, but not of the world. True. That showed me that your mind ain't good if you're thinking like that. You don't understand scripture. You can be in this world, but not of this world. This is how you get outside the world. You learn this about the man of sin, about all these different topics we're talking about. But we're talking about the man of sin. And he going to come down with this man of sin to wreak havoc on this earth. Jump down to verse 12. Go ahead. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. He said, man, he, they rejoicing because we got that joker out of here. They rejoicing like, now he said, woe, me warning to the people on this earth. Even the animals in the sea ain't safe for this cat. And we see about this now, all this pollution. He come up with all these devices, these technologies and all this stuff. He give it to these people to destroy God's earth. He give it to them. If he didn't give it to them, they'll be following the laws of the land, how to, how to take care of the earth. Meaning that you farm the land for six years, let the seven years the land is supposed to rest and replenish itself. But this guy said, no, nah, we're going to farm the land for 30 years. If it ain't farming, we're going to stick some fertilizer in it. We're going to keep pumping all this disgusting stuff in this food where it's killing us. That's why we dying. Because of what this sword, what he did to the soul. Mm. Let's get to the dragon. Go ahead. 13. And when the dragon saw that he was cast unto the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man child. Yes, sir. And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness, into her place, where she is nourished for a time and times and half a time from the face of the serpent. There's a lot been said in them two verses right there. He said, when the dragon saw he was cast to the earth, he persecuted the woman. Who's the woman? Israel, Israel. which is the church. And he brought forth the man child. Jesus came through the tribe of Judah. He came through the Israelites. 
The man child is Jesus. He's trying to kill him every minute he can. He said to the woman, he's giving two, two wings of an eagle. That's transportation into the wilderness. He ain't talking about no bird. He's talking about an airplane. You can read in Isaiah, he's talking about Isaiah saw these birds with windows on them. He didn't know what an airplane was. He just seen in prophecy what God told him to write. This is what he's telling us, that he's going to get Israelites and the mixed nation, he's going to get them to the wilderness by boat, or he's going to get them to the wilderness by plane. But we're going to get over there and get in there. And he knows that, because we're going to be nourished for a time, times and a half a time. That's three and a half years yeah. or 42 months or 1,290 or 60 days. This is how long he going to persecute this world, this man of sin. Go ahead. 15. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman, that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. And the earth helped, helped the woman, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the food. He said the, the serpent, food. excuse me, the serpent, he cast out of the mouth, we know that's water, right? But water in prophecy is people, nations, multitude. He going to cast out the army. To go after the woman. And the reason why he's going after the woman, what we just read in Daniel chapter 11. We're going to go back and read that. He's going to go after them and try to get them, but the earth is going to open up and protect them. Just like Noah did in his day. The earth opened up with water and it protected us and drowning Pharaoh and his army. He's going to do the exact same thing again. And this is what God wants us to understand so we can rationalize this in our mind. Rationalize that this stuff going to happen. Make sure you rationalize. But the first 17 what I'm getting to. Go ahead. I'm going to start back at 16. Yeah, go 16 again. And the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood, which the dragon cast out of his mouth. And the, and the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, mm -hmm. which keep the commandments of God and have the testimonies of Jesus Christ. So he went back to make war with the ones that didn't get in. That's what we read in Daniel chapter 11. Let's go back to Daniel chapter 11 and understand. He said the dragon, which is Satan, made war with the remnant of her seed, which is Israel, the ones that didn't get in the wilderness. He, he said, which do what? Keep the commandments of God. Because you're going to have some people over here and say, I still got to keep the laws. And you're going to get persecuted. You're going to get killed. So I'm going to make it out. But you're going to be running for three and a half years. I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> You can deal with that yourself. Mm. I don't want to deal with that. Daniel chapter 11. Let's go back to Daniel chapter 11 to read with some understanding. We're going to start with verse 30. Let's see what the man is seeing. Let's see who the man is seeing made war with. Verse 30. Daniel chapter 11. We're going to start with verse 30. He said he made war with the ones that keep the commandments. So this is going to read a little different for you now because you understand what the future prophets are saying. Verse 30. Go ahead. For the ships of Chittim shall come against him. Therefore he shall be grieved and return and have indignations against the holy covenant. So shall he do. He shall even return and have intelligence with them that forsake the holy covenant. Yes, sir. Because the ships of Chittim, he's going to come up against him. Well, whoever on them ship, they're going to be shooting. Whoever Satan army is, he's going to return back. Because he said, man, I can't get through them just like that water. That water, when that water came down from Moses. Moses, with Moses' day, he destroyed all Pharaoh's armies. He couldn't deal with that. He did something to it. He's going to be the exact same way. He says, have an indignation against the Holy Covenant. What did Satan say he had to go back and do? Get the ones who keep the commandments of God. He's telling you right here, so have intelligence with them that forsake the Holy Covenant. Because the ones that have some truth, they're going to turn. Cause they're going to be trying to feed their kids. They're going to try to feed their stomach. They're going to try to get shelter. They're going to have all the, man, God, you just got to understand. No, he won't. When you take that mark in your right hand and your forehead, you done. I'm done if I do that. He telling you right here, for those who forsake the covenant, this is what Satan going back to. Because you gonna, these people are going to be trying to keep it. They're going to be trying to keep it. But they're going to put so much fire on their behind, they ain't going to know what to do. Only strong going to be survived. Let's see what else he's going to do. Go ahead. 31. And arms shall stand on his part, and they shall pollute the sanctuary of strength, and shall take away the daily sacrifice, and they shall place the abomination that makes desolation. 
Oh, this is where he's going to come in the temple, right here. They're going to take away the daily sacrifice. I told y'all, they're going to start the animal sacrifice back up. He's going to come just like Jesus came. When the veil of the temple ripped out the bottom, when Jesus died, there were no more animal sacrifices. He's going to try to do the exact same thing, the man of sin. The people say, oh, man, he's just like Jesus. He must be Jesus. We're going to follow him, dummy. If you follow him, you're going to hell. Go ahead. And such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by flatteries. Mm -hmm. But the people that do know their God shall be strong and, and do ex exploits. So you're telling the, the one, the, he, said, wicked, he said, such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by flatteries. Flattery, he going to talk to you real nice. You ain't got to keep that. Come over here and have some fun. Come and have some food, meat, all this stuff. We got a nice place for you right here. You know, Israel, we like to share God in comfortable stuff. We can't go out in a barn and do and get together. It's too hot out here. You know how we are. It's too cold out here. It got to be just right. Them chairs too hard. I don't give a care where the word of God is. I'm going. Mm -hmm. I'm going. The Sabbath day, I'm going. We can be anywhere. But he's going to corrupt them with flattery. And he said that do their, that know their God shall be strong and do exploit. Let's see what the person, the people that know their God, meaning that they know these commandments, what they going to do to them. Go ahead. 33. And they that understand among the people shall instruct many, yet they shall fall by the sword. Oh, by so you understand the commandments. You're like, dang, it's the Sabbath day. Tomorrow is the Sabbath day. You're like, oh, okay, we're going to follow you. Then the man that's going to be rolling, by that, rolling through that with his partners, he can say, who told you that? Mm -hmm. Let me know who he is. I'll give you a little extra. Jeff said it. They coming to get Jeff. He said they're going to do what? Fall by the edge of the sword. Because you're going to be trying to tell people about the law. Some going to die for this. Go ahead. Yet they shall fall by the sword and by flame, by captivity, and by spoils many days. By flame? What they used to do to witches back in the day? Burn them. They're going to they get this stuff back, start it back up again. Who came up with this stuff? The Catholic Church. They know how to do us. They know. Why you think it's a dungeon under them old churches? The Catholics used to persecute all the people who didn't follow what they told them to follow. We live in comfortable right now. <laughs> you better get caught in this stuff right here. Go ahead. What else going? What else is man the same gonna bring? Thirty four. Now, when they shall fall, they shall be hoping with a little help, but many shall cleave to them with flatteries. They gonna cleave to them with flattery. Go ahead. And some of them of understanding shall fall to try them and to purge and to make them right, even to the time of the end, because it is yet for a time appointed. Some gonna hold to the truth. They gonna die. That we said. So I'm going to be a purge and, and they're going to be made white, meaning that in the resurrection, they're going to be made white. They're going to come up in the first resurrection. You, they, they, people that understand about it, they know they got to die for this. Because that death right now we have in this particular time, three and a half years, that ain't but a vapor compared to what the lake of fire is. Die! Telling people what's right if you get caught over here. Die! Because that's just a little comma in a sentence. Go ahead, bro. 36. And the king shall do accordingly, according to wait, his wait, will. Wait, wait, wait. The king? Mm. Who's the king? The man of sin. He's going to do accordingly to what? His, his will. will. Not the commandments. Go ahead. And he shall ex exalt himself and magnify himself above every God. Above who? The God of Israel? Yeah. Yes. If y'all want to do east, as high as some heads, go hunt them, go hunt them. We know about the goddess of fertility, the star tech. Y'all go ahead and hunt them. You want to you take that Passover and bread and wine? No, y'all find them people right there and kill them. He know about all this stuff. Say, Satan is a master in these scriptures, y'all. He started quoting scripture to Jesus. And Jesus had to check him now. He said, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. He coming at him with scripture. What you think he'll do to us? Half of the folks ain't even studying like we studying. It'll be deceived. You had a little pain till they behind. You see what happened. People do a lot of strange things when pain hit them. I know. Go ahead, bro. And magnify himself above every God. So they talk. Okay. And the king shall do according to his will, and he shall ex exalt himself 
and magnify himself above every god and shall speak marvelous things against the god of gods and shall prosper till the indignation be accomplished be accomplished for that this is determined shall be done it's gonna be done so bank on it. The king going to do these things according to his will. He going to magnify himself above every God. This man of sin is coming. This is what he's going to do. So this ain't going to sneak up on us. It shouldn't. Especially the ones in here listening and the right. ones out on Facebook and YouTube are listening. It shouldn't sneak up on you because we reading it. Go ahead, bro. Neither shall he regard the God of his fathers, nor the desire of women. Wait nor a minute. He don't, he don't desire the God of Israel? Nor the desire of women? women. What church is that that don't like to get married? Roman Catholic Church. He ain't gonna desire no women. He ain't got time with me. They like little boys all day long. They lay a whole bunch of homosexuals over there. Go ahead. 37, let me start from the top. Neither shall he regard the God of his fathers, nor the desire of women, nor regard any God. For he shall magnify himself above all. Above all. He going to say, you follow me. Forget the God of Israel. Shoot, men forget the women. Y'all come over to me. I, well, you yes. know, these jungle right here, boy. I'm telling you, these Catholics, they, these Roman, the Catholics, they something serious. Don't nothing hardly happen to them either when they get caught up in homosexuality. This is the man of sin in his estate. Go ahead. But in his estate shall he honor the God of forces, and a God whom he, his father knew not shall he honor with gold and silver and with precious stones and pleasant things. Oh, he's going to take care of his boys, his military. He's going to honor the God of forces. I mean, he's going to honor his military. He's going to have gold, silver. He's going to have much food and everything. He's going to take care of them because he needs them to go to war and do all these things. Understand, martial law going to take place in a little while. Because the police officers can't even handle what they got now. Mm. It's going to happen. The military is going to take over. When martial law hit, police force ain't going to have that authority like that no more. Get ready for it because they can barely handle this society now. Right. Go ahead, bro. Thus shall he do in the most strongholds with a strange God, whom he shall acknowledge and increase with glory. Who is this strange God? Satan. Satan. Satan going to be giving in his ear, giving him all this information. All of it. He's going to make sure he take care of him, make sure he get the best money, get the best food, best of everything, so he can feed these militaries. Go ahead. And he shall cause them to rule over many and shall divide the land for gain. Yes, sir. He's going to control the land. Go ahead. And at that time of the end shall the king of the south push at him, and the king of the north shall come against him like a whirlwind with chariots and with horsemen, and with many ships, and he shall enter into the countries and shall overflow and pass over. Now we go into the time and the end. That's when these four horsemen pop up. We did a lesson on that about the four horsemen, about these kings, northeast, south, and west. These are kings. These are the people that run the world he's talking about. We can get into all that. You can catch that video on YouTube. But listen what he say about this estate, what his land would be. Go ahead. 41. He shall enter it also into the glorious land, and many countries shall be overthrown. But these shall escape out of his hand, even Edom, even Moab, and the chief of the uh, children of Ammon. Understand that this, and he's going to enter into the land. Edom and Moab, those are going to be our cover. They're going to make sure they protect us. He's going to make sure they protect us when the time comes. They're going to feed us. They're going to take care of us and everything out there in the wilderness. They're going to be on our side. But he said, he should enter into the glorious land. That's Jerusalem, ain't it? <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. He shall stretch forth his hand also upon the countries, and the land of Egypt shall not escape. But he, he shall... shall... He gonna stretch forth his hand. That means that he gonna stretch forth his power, man. He gonna... His hand and militaries are so vast and so large, he can just call and they get the word out and he can go and kill somebody clean across the world if he wanted to. I heard somebody. We don't understand how big this is. This man is saying got power. That's why Jesus said, make sure you get to the wilderness. Go ahead, bro. But he shall have power over the treasures of gold and silver and over all the precious things of Egypt. And the Liberians and the Ethiopians shall be at his steps. 
He said, he got, who, who controls all the gold in the world right now? What country? Africa. Africa. He gonna control them. He gonna control all the gold, everything. He gonna stretch forth his hand and control it all. You can't escape, escape this guy. Go ahead. But tidings out of the east and out of the north shall trouble him. Mm -hmm. Therefore he shall go forth with great fury to destroy and utterly to make away many. And he, and he shall plant the tabernacles of his palace between the seas and the glorious holy mountain, yet he shall come to his end, and none shall help him. He said he shall plant his tabernacles between the seas of the glorious land. Who gave him that real estate? And when was it prophesied that he was going to get this real estate? It's all in his book. He tell him, let's see who gave him this real estate property. Let's see how long he going to rent this or lease this. Let's go to Revelation chapter 11. It's all here. The man is saying, this is what we talking about. You better get away from this cat. Omar's coming. Hmm. I bet the old schools out here, they laughing at me about that because they know about Omar. Yes, sir. And this cat right here, he worse than Omar. <laughs> Let's see about this real estate that he has and who gave it to him. God going to listen to him for a minute. Revelation chapter 11, we're going to start with verse 1. We get a brother, go ahead. And there was given to me a reed like unto a rod, and the angel stood and saying, Rise and measure the temple of God and the altar and them that worship therein. Now, this is what the God is telling John the Revelator to write. He said, rise and measure the temple. Measure everything about what's going on about my temple. But he left, he going to tell you something that should be a clue in your mind. Who going to give this man to see in this real estate here? Go ahead. But the court which is without of the temple leave out and measure it not. For it is given unto the Gentiles. No, given it to Esau. The Gentiles. Given it to the Israelites. Given that to the Gentiles. Gentiles. That's all the Europeans. They're the ones that are going to give it to Esau. They're the ones that are going to give him the right to build the temple that the man of sin is going to sit into. This, they don't even understand they're working for Satan. They don't. Go ahead, bro. And the holy city shall they tread underfoot 40 and two months. So that lease agreement is how long? Three and 42 and months, right? Four Three and, and a half years. Year. That is how long Jesus said, oh, I'll listen to you for that long. Because when Donald Trump, when he was in office, he made Jerusalem the capital city. That was a very, very major prophecy right there. Because when he made Jerusalem the capital city, he set up an embassy over there. So when he comes back, which I think he's going to be president, and when he comes back, he's going to cash in on that. And he's going to put the Jews, the so-called Jews, in their land, he gonna give them their property. He said, "Gentile, right? Who run the land now? The Gentile. If you are gonna get any land from anybody, you got to go through the Gentile." He said, "I measure the temple, but leave the outer court open for who? The Gentile." But we know that the Jews are supposed to build the temple. Why he say the Gentile? Why he say Gentile? Cause the Gentiles gonna run it. The Jews is just going to set everything up with the animal sacrifices, everything. He going to come there and say, look, stop doing that. Jesus here. It's all here. 42 months. It's how long he's going to let them have it. Let me show you who's going to build that temple and what it's called. Revelation chapter 3 and 9. Same book. Let me show you all these so-called Jews are going to build this temple. Build it for Satan. He building for Satan and the man of sin. Mm -hmm. Revelation chapter 3 and verse 9. This is the man of sin house. These Jews think it's theirs. <laughs> ain't theirs. Mm -hmm. He's just going to use them to get it. Exactly. <laughs> Revelation 3 and 9. Go ahead. Behold, I will make them of the synagogues of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not. Wait a minute. Who's saying that now? The ish. These the Jewish ish. people. Yeah. We say we Jews. The only Jew we know is the ones over there that look curly hair on their head and their little box on top of their head, walking around with black 
hats on, all that stuff. They claiming to be us. He said right here, he said, behold, I will make them of who? The synagogue of Satan. That's the church. That's the tabernacle of Satan. They building it for them. They are commissioned. The Gentiles are going to give the Jews right to build. Go ahead. Start from the top. Yeah. Behold, I will make them of the synagogues of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. So who lying? We said we Jews as a nation. Everybody in the world recognized those folks over in the land and said, oh, them the Jews. Y'all trying to keep them Jewish holidays, huh? No, we ain't keeping no Jewish holiday. We keeping the high Sabbath of Jesus. Exactly. Amen. Go ahead. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee. He said, I'm going to make them come to worship at your feet. They're doing all this stuff. They're building the tabernacle for Satan. The Jews think they build it for themselves. Satan going to have the man of sin come over there and take over the temple because he's going to tell them to stop with them sacrifices. I'm here. And they're going to give him power. He's going to control what he control, which is the European Union on this side. And he's going to control a lot of stuff in the world. But we don't get into all that. Keep rolling. 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So what is the hour of temptation? The great tribulation, buddy. Them three and a half years, because you kept this. You understand when to flee when this cat get on the scene, the man of sin. You understand this. And these Jews are going to build the synagogue of Satan. Synagogue is church. They give me a temple also. They're going to build it. And they're thinking that they're building it for them. Let's look at it again. Jesus is going to tell you again. Let's go to Revelation 2. Oh, yeah. and we finish with that? We have one more. Button. One more. Go ahead. He said, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man taketh thy crown. Yes, sir. Let, don't let nobody take your crown. That's anybody. Mama, daddy, brother, sister, all of them. I like to call them out. Uh, some people just think that the enemy is going to come from outside. Now they're going to be right there in your house like Jesus said in Matthew chapter 10 and 34. The foes of your own household shall be your enemies. And they ain't talking about it. they just out there trying to kill you and hurt you. No, they just entice you. You don't have to do that much, Jeff. Tone it down. It ain't that serious. You just don't know what you talking about when you telling me to tone down about the high holy day, the Sabbath, all them day. And, and who are you talking to? You ain't gonna get me taken away from, from getting my name blotted out of the Lamb Book of Life. No, nobody. Let's look at Jesus said again. Let's go to Revelation 2 and 9. Revelation 2 and 9, because we gotta understand that this man is saying gonna have some real estate. He's gonna lease it, and Jesus is gonna lease it to him for how long? Three and a half years, 42 months. He's gonna do it. Revelation chapter 2 and verse 8. Go ahead. And unto the angel of the church in Smyrna, Smyrna write, These things saith the first and the last, which was dead and is alive. Yes, sir. I know thy works. Who is that? That's Jesus, ain't it? Which was dead and alive. He's saying this. Jesus saying this. What he said? Go ahead. I know thy works and tribulations and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogues of Satan. We ain't saying we Jews. Jesus said, I know the blasphemy of what they saying they're Jews. They are not. They're of who? The synagogue of Satan. So if the Jews are the synagogue of Satan, who gave them, who commissioned them to build it? Gentiles. That's why he told them to leave the outer court open. I'm going to get them Gentiles to come in here and they're going to build it. Let me show you what Donald Trump said right here. I'm going to look at this if it come on. I've been on pause too long. Just want to show you that there was a very important part of prophecy right here when, when Trump was in office. He made Jerusalem the capital city. Soon this thing go off. Last month, they also took an action endorsed unanimously by the U.S. Senate just months before. I recognized Jerusalem as the capital 
of Israel. Gentile. Mm. Gentile. He recognized it. What else he did? Who? United Nations. Ten toes of Daniel. To make this decision. To make this decision. In 2016, American taxpayers generously sent those same countries more than $20 billion in aid. That is why tonight I am asking Congress to pass legislation to help ensure American foreign assistance dollars always serve American interests and only go to friends of America, not enemies. That's all I want y'all to see before you get through talking. Sure. But the thing is, the Gentiles are commissioned. They're going to give that land to the Jews. And they're going to sit up there and they're going to build that temple. And we see it. You go on your, on your Google and, and type in build another third temple. You see it. It's in the smallest form now. But they are actually trying to do something. They're getting the bricks together. I don't think they need is the real estate. And he said right there in Revelation chapter uh, 11, leave it out for the Gentiles. We finished with that? Yes, sir. Let's go to uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. I just want to make sure we understand who we're dealing with. Don't get caught up in the cares of the world, all this stuff going on in the world. Get caught up in the book. It's a lot going on. It's a lot going on. Let's see what Brother Paul said about the man of sin. It's an LC boy right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Brother Paul said about the man of sin, how he come. Let's see if he differentiate, if I said that right, from all the other prophets. <laughs> Verse 1, go ahead. Now we beseech you. Brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together unto him. Now he tell them about the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and what he's going to do before he comes. Go ahead. That ye be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled, neither by spirit nor by word, nor by, letting, nor by letter as from us, as that the day of Christ is at hand. He don't want our mind shaken. He wanted to study. Don't get so comfortable. I know what he's going to say. I know what he's talking about. Right? Stop saying you know stuff and just read along because little small tidbits that you miss, like I miss when my teachers tell me. I said, dog, I've been reading that scripture for I don't know how long. How you see that? Because it wasn't for you to see it. There's somebody that's got a little more knowledge. You start reading and breaking down one little small word. You say, oh, man, I ain't see that. But he's telling you something here. He don't want your mind to be shaken. Because a lot of people are going to be in a corner shaking like a salt shaker when the three, year, three, three and a half year tribulation start. They ain't going to know what to do. Go ahead. Three. Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come except there come a falling away first and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. See, the church right now of Israel... We, we falling away, man. A lot of people falling away from the truth. Y'all see it? Many people that been in here on the Sabbath with us, they ain't here no more. They ain't here no more. Many people that's out there in the world, in the world, in the other churches, they, even the other pastors say they dropping off from the truth. It's not just us. It's all over Israel camps. Dropping off because their minds are not stable. They don't understand the prophecies of God. He said, he said, shall become a great falling away. And then the man of sin going to be revealed. That's when you stop studying. That's when you stop caring about what God say. You want to go about your life. Now the man of sin going to step on the scene. You're going to say, oh man, it's too late to run now. They're going to see it at the last moment. Because God going to send them a strong delusion that they going to believe a lie that they conjure up in their mind and it's going to be too late. He's going to fix them now. Go ahead, bro. Listen what happened here about the man of sin. Go who, ahead. Who opposeth and exalted himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped 
so that he had, he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Who is that? We just read about him. They're going to this abomination of desolation. That's the man of sin, the son of perdition. He's going to sit in well, the temple of God, which those Jewish people going to build. When they build it, he's going to come take it over. He's going to say, I'm here now. He's going to come from Rome. He's going to come from Rome. He's going to sit in the temple of God because they said, we building this temple for Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Israel. No, you're not. You're building it for Satan. That's his sin of God. Go ahead. Five. Remember, remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. Paul said, remember this. Go ahead. And now you know what withhold, excuse me. And now you know what withhold, withhold it that he might be revealed in his time. He's going to be revealed at the time. He said, you know this. He's going to be revealed. Just keep studying. Hold fast to your crown. Don't let nobody distract you. Go ahead. For the mystery of iniquity doeth all, already work. Only he who knoweth let it with let. Let it with let until he be taken out of the way. He knoweth the mystery of iniquity got to be revealed. That's, that's Satan and the, the man of sin. Doeth already working. He already working. They already working on this plan, man. We see the third temple being built. They building it for Satan. They don't know it, but we know it. Go ahead. And then shall that wicked, excuse me, and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. So Jesus is telling you that he's the one going to take it down. Nobody else. He's the one. He's going to be reigning to that seven trump. That's why he tells us in Zechariah 14, he said, his feet shall be touched where? The Mount of Olives. He's going to destroy all that little temple, that stuff they had over there. He's going to kill a lot of people who thinking he is the one. Go ahead, bro. Verse 9. Even him whose coming is after the works, the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. Who is him? The working after who? Satan. That's the man of sin. He giving him that power. He giving him all those plans in his mind. But God is telling, this is an open book test right here. We see how it coming. All we got to do is read it. Go ahead. And all with and all with all deceivableness of righteousness in them that perish. Unrighteousness that perish. Uh -huh. That perish. Because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. See, they ain't receive. A lot of people today ain't receiving this because their minds are elsewhere trying to accumulate. I don't care if it's money. I don't care if it's women. I don't care if it's men. They, they mind is elsewhere on the cares of the world. Want to make themselves feel good. They want to pleasure themselves. When you start doing that, you're going to get out the realm of God. You put pleasure over God, you done. I'm done. Listen to what he say right here. Keep going. Verse 11. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusions that they should believe a lie. That they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. I just told you. Mm. The pleasure is going to take you out and me out. That's going to deceive you. That's going to deceive me. We ain't going to see the man of sin coming because we looking at all the things that we can get. And right now, people getting the stuff they want right now. They ain't thinking about God, man. I can walk away from this stuff today if I see that man that said, no hesitation, none whatsoever. I'm gone. I don't care if now one of y'all don't follow me neither. I'm gone. This is what God tells you right here. Do not get so consumed of this pleasure and unrighteousness. Go ahead. 13. But we are bound to give thanks always to God for you. Yes, sir. Brethren, beloved of the Lord, because God hath from the Beginning chose you to salvation through sanctification of the spirit and beliefs of the truth. See, he chosen us, man. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for salvation. This stuff don't mean nothing. Right. The salvation is king right here. If you playing checker, that's the king. I jump everybody if I got the king. And I got the king. He got salvation. But people were out here trying to play chess with their grace right now. They're gambling 
with their grace. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Brandon Filler, for telling me that. They're gambling with their grace. Mm -hmm. I like that when he said that. Gambling with their grace. A lot of people playing around, oh, God, going to forgive me. I just do that. God going to forgive me. I just sleep with him. God going to forgive me if I just sleep with her, him, her, whoever it is. Thank you, you got time. All of a sudden, boom, you die. Kevin Samuels. He died. <laughs> Messing around with a young girl. That what happened to him. Everybody know about Kevin Samuels. God got him. Call that caress. Go ahead, bro. 14. Where went to? He called you by our gospel to the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. He called who? You. you. Me. To this gospel. Who? Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad I got my eyes open. I walk by faith, not by sight, not by numbers. Believe me, only a few gonna make it, y'all. And believe me, I'm hope I'm in the few. I ain't telling you that I'm in that few. I hope I'm in that few. I hope. Me too. <laughs> yeah, I'm me not too. telling you I'm saved. I'm not, because I don't know it. And you don't know it. Go ahead, bro. 15. Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold the traditions. The traditions which ye have been taught, whether by word or or our epistle. What you holding? What you holding right now? You holding your money? You holding your car? You holding your cigarettes, your alcohol, your weed? You holding all that? That go away? And you like, oh man, I don't know what to do. But when you ain't holding this word of God, <laughs> you ain't got nothing. I don't have nothing. People holding all this stuff that's going to be burnt up in these last days, man. It's going to be gone. Man, hold this. Read it again. Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold the traditions which ye have been taught, whether by word or our epistle. Hold the holy days. Hold the dietary law. Hold the Sabbath. Hold mm -hmm. all the, the, the purification laws. Hold the circumcision law. Hold everything you can. Hold it all. And most of all, Amen. teach it to people. Amen. You got to hold it. But people really don't hold this stuff. They, they picking and choosing what they're going to hold. Go ahead, bro. Now, Amen. our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God, even our Father, which have loved us and have given us everlasting consolation and good hope that, through grace. Yes, sir. He gave an everlasting consolation through good hope, through grace, man. Don't abuse that grace. Mm -hmm. A lot of people think they can just play with grace. You gambling? You gambling with that now? Don't get caught because we don't know how we're going to die. And we don't want to die in our sins. At least I don't want to die in my sin. When I'm doing something, Lord, forgive me. Help me. Real quick. Help me. Help me. I need it. I'm not sitting up here telling you that I don't sin because I do. I just go ahead and repent, hoping he don't tap me too hard. <laughs> go ahead, bro. Comfort your hearts. Establish you in every good word, word and work. Yes, sir. Comfort yourself, your heart, meaning your mind. Establish you in every good word and work. How you working? You got to work, man. Work so easy now, people can work at home on their computer. But they won't work at home with the gospel and put no word out. <laughs> it's easy to just post a picture. People are scared that folk going to think about them wrong on their Facebook account or their Instagram account. Mm -hmm. All they want likes, 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 likes. I don't care if you don't like Jack, I'm going to post it. Right. But you're going to see it. You know how you know a person see it? Check out your storyline. They ain't like none of the pictures, but 60 people have seen that picture you posted. They're going to see it. Don't worry about likes. Just post it. Just keep it going, yeah. post it. If you text them, they're going to see it. You just do your thing. God know your heart. Comfort yourself mm -hmm. with this. You know what I'm saying? Just want to make sure people understand about the man of sin and that temple being built in Jerusalem in a little while. In a little while. It's coming soon. Just make sure you get this lesson, go over it, read over it, so you can be confident in your mind, so you can drop this stuff and don't be like Lot's wife. Don't be like her. She, she, she turned back looking like, God, at least I'm not going to be driving my car. Sure. 
Golly, somebody in my house, get them wet, put on my clothes. Man, they ain't gonna be having about three and a half years. All that stuff gonna be gone. Come on, man. You feel with that, John? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me read one more. Ezekiel chapter 33. It'll be the last one. I just want us to be, I don't want to, I don't want to, I want, I'm trying to get soldiers out of here. I want y'all to be strong enough to handle hard talk. So when the time come up, somebody talking hard to you, you don't get offended. A lot of times people get offended because somebody speak direct to them. And our day, boy, you had to keep that face straight. Because <laughs> you ain't keep that face straight, you're going to be crooked Ooh, in a minute. For real. <laughs> <laughs> with that slap. <laughs> what, what you looking like? What wrong with your face, huh? Nothing. <laughs> you better smile. Exactly. My daddy be sitting up there talking to us and saying, what wrong with your face? We had, we had to try and do this right and smile. Because <laughs> we know if we looking crazy, we know about to happen. Ooh, man. <laughs> Play with it if you want to. Mm -mm. A lot of people from my life, my dad, no, I ain't. Sure, I ain't do that stuff. But anyway, this is what we're getting to, right? Ezekiel chapter 33 and 1. Just want to show y'all, we as watchmen, watchmen, we got to make sure we watch it. Israel, and warning people. Go ahead, bro. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people, and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast, and set him for their watchmen. That's what we're doing right now, Israel. I'm that man for this church. All the other brothers inside these camps who teaching. If you teaching in and on any platform, you that man. You got an audience on your 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 social media. You that man ain't looking for for truth or that woman. Set a watchman. Somebody you can go to. I know they gonna speak the truth. I'm gonna watch them. I'm gonna follow what they say and go back and research it. But he telling Israel. Tell the watchman. Go ahead. If when he see if the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. Mm -hmm. Then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and take him not warning, if the sword come and take his take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. Mm. On his own head, because the watchman told him. Like I'm telling y'all right now, I did man of sin coming. Oh. They've been doing all this stuff in the world. This man of sin is coming. Well, I'm on fire. You put that thing on me. <laughs> I didn't know that. Cut it off. Got a new phone up there messing me up. But this is what he telling you right here. You got to watch as a man of God or a woman of God. You got to be that watchman. Don't worry about it, Jane. Go ahead and read. Yeah. Um, okay. What? Number five. Verse five. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him. But he that taketh warning shall just deliver his soul. See what I'm saying? The blood, you just tell him. If he didn't take warning, you did your job. It's upon him or her. You did your job at watchman. But if you don't do your job at a watchman, this is happening. Go ahead. Six. But if the watchman see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, if the, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taking away his iniquity. But his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. See, that what I'm scared of right there. Yeah. Just sitting there, just listening to this stuff, you ain't correcting people. Be careful now. When they walk away, do something wrong in your presence as a watchman. That blood on your hand and my hand. You just say it one time, that's all. Hey man, you don't supposed to do that. Oh, I got it. Okay. You told them. That's all you can do. We're gonna need works in our salvation. To get on that side. We're going to need that work. God got to see your work. He got to see your resume. He don't care how young you are. He don't care how old you are. As long as you living, you got to work. He don't want no sideliners. When you, at a, at a young age of comprehending the word of God, you responsible, I'm responsible. And as long as you old, I don't care if you're 70 or 80 years old, if you still can comprehend your mind, you ain't talking to yourself in the corner. You still, you still responsible. You still responsible. Come on now, everybody. Cause what Jesus said in, in, uh, in uh, Leviticus, I think Leviticus asked it. He said, "I don't care if you old. The day you turn your back on the God, I don't remember none of that. 
You can do stuff all the way up to your 70 or 80 years. He said, the day you turn from this book, I do not remember none of that. You done. I'm done. So Jesus is an on time God. He's on time. He's current. Go ahead, bro. Seven. So thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Mm. Therefore thou shalt hear the word at, at my mouth and warn them from me. That's what I'm doing. I'm warning everybody I can warn from God. He said from me. Meaning you want it from the God of Israel. Because he's a terrible God. Very terrible. And he's going to do stuff so bad that you're going to think, like, is there a God in this world? Like, we're right not thinking that right now. <laughs> like, what God is? He the one performing, letting all this stuff go down. Because of what? Sin. Mm -hmm. He got to correct it. Exactly. He know how to hit you when you, he know how to hit you right. <laughs> go ahead, bro. When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die. If thou dost, dost not speak to the one the wicked from his way, that wicked man shall die in his iniquity. Mm. But his blood will I require at thine hand. Ooh. Mm. At your hand. You notice how he passing the blood when you know something and not telling somebody righteousness? Mm. It's on your hands. Go ahead. Nah, nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of his way to turn from it, if he do not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity. But thou hast delivered thy soul. Whose soul? Thy soul. No, you deliver their soul. No, no, you deliver your, your soul, soul yep. my soul, because I mm -hmm. told them. Yep. I told them. Exactly. Lord, I told them. Mm -hmm. Like when Corey got an accident, I didn't hit him, he hit me. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that, Corey? Corey said, hey, he hit me, now I ain't hit him. <laughs> you told the truth. But a lot of people try to flip the truth mm -hmm. from you. No, as long as you tell the truth, you're going to be in the right of way. You been with nine? Yes, you yeah, we good. We good with that. We good with that. I ain't gonna hold y'all much longer, but I just want to make sure we understand that the man is saying is coming. Make sure you warn people. Just tell them, or shoot them a text. They pay a attention. They shoot them the video we just done. It's up to them, not you, to make them watch it. You just do what you do your job. The blood off your hand, and I thank you for your time, yes, sir. You got announcements? Yes, sir. It's in the Bible somewhere. We're going to take up the offer. If anybody got anything to get, you can come up and get it. Do like the old folk turn back on so they won't see what's going on. Wait, wait. You have the announcements in? Oh, here you go. There now. Yes, sir. Uh, don't let nobody take your crown. Mm. Yes, sir. All right, all right. Say so he moved. I think LC moved faster. <laughs> <laughs> oh. hey. Okay, yeah, Boy, I'm, I'm gonna get you on my workout <laughs> program right here. We go. <laughs> go ahead, brother. But I'm see. Uh, <laughs> how did what you call? It? Um, you said um, you got a little song. I hope I can remember. It just just something off the head. It just say um, it say um. Don't tell me hey, it's crunch song. time. Ain't saying. no turning back. Gotta keep going forward. We can't keep going back. Got to turn my back to the past. Trying to go forward. Because we in them last days. Perilous times. Got to keep going. Can't be changing. We came too far. Got to stay focused. We in these last days. In the last days. Trying to make it to Jerusalem. Yes, sir. To the wilderness. My brothers. And my sisters, still we gotta hold on. We gotta be strong, cause we ain't got long. Praise you, Jesus. I wanna make it. I don't wanna go to the lake. Mm. I gotta stay with Christ, can't be fake. Hey, the devil can't shake me. Nah, see, the devil can't break me. Nah, brothers, we gotta pray to the East Jerusalem. 
I'm from Shem. No, I'm not from Ham. But I whoop my peeps. So don't sleep. Let's wake up. Call Jacob. Get a cup of coffee. Devil, get up off me. Yo, praise the Lord Jesus yes, Christ. Yes, sir. You're just off the head, man. I don't know. <laughs> my God. <laughs> Give him a hand. Let's give him a big <laughs> hand. That's a curve. Yeah, we got to be, man, I, I good, it, bro. We be strong, man, because I just, you see, I'm seeing a lot, man. We got to be strong, all our brothers and sisters, man. Yes, sir. You the next choir director. <laughs> <laughs> Announcements. Yeah. Here at the House of Israel, we have a dress code. Men and boys, no tank tops, no flip-flops, shorts, muscle shirts, saggy pants, hats, ripped jeans. If the jeans are ripped without, without, um, if the dreams are ripped without showing skin, they are okay. Slides. Women and girls, no slips, no slides, tank tops, halter tops, low cut blouses, leggings, body suits, ripped jeans, no cleavage showing, no bra, bra strap showing, no short skirts of dresses. Be mindful of your dresses and skirts because when you sit down, they can come up and show your thighs. This can be a distraction from the lesson. There will be no cross dressing. Men should not wear women clothes. No women wearing men clothes. If this happens, you will be asked to leave until you can dress appropriately. Romans 12 and 1. Present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Cell phones and tablets. If you are using one, of, one during the lesson, please make sure you are not on anything that is pertaining to the lesson. Instagram, read, read that again. Facebook. Huh? Read that again. It said, if you are using one during the lesson, please make sure you are not on anything that isn't pertaining to the lesson. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, etc. Okay. Baptism reminder. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good reading, brother. Thank All you, right, y'all. We're going to stand and close out. Man, just stay strong out here, brothers yeah. and sisters, for real. Stay strong. Amen, brothers. Amen. We don't walk by sight. We walk by faith, man. Exactly. Go, go ahead, Corey. Our Father, which are in heaven. Our Father, which are in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thou is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord God of Israel. Praise, Praise the Lord, Lord God of Israel. Israel. Who's the king? Jesus. Jesus. Who's the king? Jesus. Jesus. What is the whole duty of man? Fear God and keep his commandments. What is the whole duty of man? Fear God and keep his commandments. Hallelujah. 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 In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty and holy name. Amen. 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 Cordy, heard you over there, boy. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Man, thank you, brother. Praise.